My God, when I in all some wonder come sit around the worlds thine hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thine power shone throughout the universe, then sings my soul. How great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul. this morning, this Sunday morning, Father, I come to break bread with my brothers and sisters, and I come with another purpose. I have lost one, a strong one of my family, and I'm calling on you, Lord, to comfort the family in this hour of Martha Johnson, my aunt, who after 92 plus years has transitioned into your heavenly arms. Father God, we ask that you continue to bless, lead, and guide the family. Help us to know, Father, that this is a road that we all must take. This is a trip that we all must make. And Father God, help us to understand only what we do for you will last. We ask that you comfort that you continue to heal and you continue to deliver your people who are called by your name. Give us strength when we have no strength. Give us power when we have no power. Give us your love when we have no love from anyone else. In this world, Help us to know that we will always have you, Lord. 
She has transcended and now sits high. She has transcended and now looks low. Touch and bless the family, the friends, the relatives that are traveling for her homecoming. We ask these and all of these things in your Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Amen. My aunt was very special to me because along with my mother, she spent a lot of time bringing me up as a child. I spent as much time as her house as I spent at mine. They take turns keeping each other's children. So she was a blessed woman. And as I thought about how blessed and hospitable she was, she'd always have the family over to her house and we'd eat, she'd cook, she was a great cook, but she was a great encourager also. She was like Martha in the Bible. And I thought about that this morning. I thought about Martha and Mary. Ironically, her sister Mary is our surviving aunt. And she just celebrated a birthday, God bless her. And we just traveled up to see her and Martha. We, we saw Martha, my aunt Martha before her transition. But as I looked at this word this morning, if you look at the book, of St. Luke, and I will be brief. Now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village. We're talking about Jesus now. And a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. May the Lord add a blessing to each and every word. We find that Martha comforted Jesus. She invited him into her house. My Aunt Martha was like this. She had no hate in her heart for no one. She had love for everyone. She was stern. She would let no one use nor abuse her, but she was always a great hospitality professional in that she would invite everyone into her home, all of her families and friends, and she was one who would lift. She was a believer in Yahshua, Jesus Christ. My life was touched because of that. Because of that love, because of that hospitality, because of her strength. I grew from that strength. She wouldn't let no one Stand her down. She was one who would stand. She was blessed in that she traveled the world following her children, her grandchildren, all across the world, even in Africa. She was blessed and she was highly favored. I recall before I went to school at Hampton University her and her daughter, Sandra, took a flight with me and, and they, and we took a propeller flight to Hampton University. And it was a rough ride, and I was scared, and Martha said, he's not ready for you yet. 
Christy boy. And she called me Christy boy. But I remember being frightened on that trip. But she was not afraid. She was strong. And I got some of that strength from that from my aunts and my mother and my father. They had that old time religion. You know, the old time religion. And when it was time for my mother to transition, she was there every day. Every day they'd sing songs, hymns, lifting the Lord and I recall some of those songs I didn't even know that was that old time religion and I want you to know it was good enough for them and it's good enough for me be thankful that you can have people in your life which will give you strength that you can draw from which will give you courage, which you can draw from, which will give you power, which you can stand by, which will give you love, which you can grow by. Draw near to people who will lift you, who will invite you in, who will not put you down, but will lift you up. She would lift everyone up, everyone. And that is what we are called to do, to lift one another, to gift one another. That is what we are called to do. And if you do that, my brothers and sisters, you will be like Martha and Mary in this Bible. You will be blessed and you will be highly favored. Lift the Lord. Lift your brothers and sisters in Christ. For he said it in his word. If I be lifted up. I will draw all men. All women. Unto me. As she. And the family. Prepare. She's already transitioned to heaven. But the family is preparing to eulogize her in Cleveland, Ohio. Let them remember that she was strong. She was hospitable. Let them draw from her strength so that they can stand against the wiles of the devil throughout this old world. Let them know that only what we do for Yahshua, Jesus Christ, will last. Only what you do, my brothers and sisters, for Yahshua, Jesus Christ, will last. You and I will one day, too, shed these old clothes and learn to study war no more. Let us remember, while the day is still with light. Lift them. Lift the Lord. Gift them. Gift the Lord. Lean not toward the ways of the world, but the way of his word. And he will take you places you never thought you'd go. Know that. Claim that. And until next week, keep the victory in sight.